Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials. Good morning. I'm Mickey Huang. I have an appointment with Mr. Wilson. Is this about the sales assistant position? That's right. My appointment is for 11 o'clock. Mr. Wilson is on the line right now. Please have a seat. He'll be right with you. Thank you. Can I get you something, coffee, tea? No. I'm fine. Thank you. Morning, Mary. It's John Kramer calling. You remember you handled my tax forms for me? Of course, Mr. Kramer. How are things going these days? Better than ever. You won't have to worry about finding extra money for me anymore. We made nearly a quarter of million in profit last year. Congratulations. I'm really glad to hear it. That should make balancing the books a lot easier. Hi. My name is Tom. Tom, the new sales representative? Nice to meet you. I'm Melinda. Nice to meet you too, Melinda. Now let me show you around. This is our reception area, and our conference room is right over there. Over there is the sales department. Really? This is a nice office, but it's quite small. Yeah, you can make photocopies and send faxes over there. It looks like you guys work hard. I tell you what just between you and me. We just mess things up so that it looks like we work hard. Just kidding. Oh, your cubicle is over the... And this way. Those are all private offices, the manager's offices. Hum, tell me more details about our jobs. Sure thing. The demographic reports are in from the looks of it. We're going to have to re-evaluate some of the content for our promotional events in different venues. Why? What's the lowdown? According to the report, our Boston crowd is quite different makeup from our Chicago folks. Our Boston consumers are mostly from mid-level to upper-class income levels, university or postgraduates, married no children, white-collar you know the kind. Chicago on the other hand is mostly mid to low income levels, single parent homes, blue collar I think we're talking about two totally different target groups. I have no idea there was that great of deviation between the two venues to make our products sell. We have to take the target audience into account. No kidding. We've got to come up with two completely different sales pitches to suit the needs of each groups. John, I have to say I was bothered by the way you handled the meeting today. How so? I thought it went fine. I think it would have been better if you had given us more of a chance to give our opinions. I'm sorry. I thought we were all pretty much in agreement. Why don't you begin by telling me something about yourself? What do you want to know? The usual, you know, something about your background and experience and anything personal that you feel is pertinent. Well, I was born in Shanghai and went to school there, right up through college. My father is a lawyer, and my mother is a teacher. Sounds as if you come from a professional family. That right. One of my sisters is a doctor and the other one teaches at a university. What made you decide to get into computers? Oh, nothing in particular, I guess. I always liked mathematics and tinkering with machines. Now what about your experience? 
How long have you been working with computers? More than five years now. After I did my engineering degree, I began to specialize in computer technology and I even had my own company for a while. It certainly sounds impressive. Why don't you have your credentials sent to me and I'll show them to the board? We'll probably get back to you in a week. Thanks very much. Jason, there's a snag in the plans for the Hoover Center. What's wrong? I thought everything was set. Well, it was. But the contractors just told me he's not going to be able to finish by the 20th, as planned. Maybe we could work out an overtime schedule. It's definitely worth it to finish by the 20th. Hey, Tom, I saw this ad in the paper. You should take a look. What is it? It's for a job. It looks perfect for you. Let me see. Wanted. Manager for up and coming firm. Must have good organizational skills. Experience a plus. Please contact Susan Lee. Oh, I don't know. Come on. What have you got to lose? What about my resume? Here, I'll help you type one up. Thanks, Mary. You are a real pal. I'll call now to set up an interview. An interesting meeting, isn't it? Yes, very. I thought the last speaker was especially good. Let me introduce myself, by the way. My name is Dick Brown. How do you do? I'm Mary Green. Sorry, what was your last name again? Green, G-R-E-E-N, but just call me Mary. Okay, I'm Dick. Glad to meet you. Have you always been on this site? No. We used to be on an industrial estate on the outskirts of York. Why did you move? We needed larger premises so we moved to this greenfield site last year. It's nearer the motorway so it's better for transportation. What's your working day like? I have a typical 9 to 5 job. Actually, I work a little longer than 9 to 5 most days. Do you get paid overtime? No, I don't. I get a bonus each month, depending on the value of the contracts I sign with clients. Do you have any breaks? We have an hour-long lunch break from 12 to 1. We can take coffee breaks during the day. My boss doesn't mind as long as we get our work done on time. My boss gets annoyed if we take coffee breaks. I suppose your job involves a lot of paperwork, doesn't it? There's some paperwork, but most of the time we put the information into our computers. Then we can send information to each other by email or across the network. Do you work in a cubicle? Yes, I do. I don't like it very much. I work in a cubicle too, but I don't mind it. Good afternoon. Is this the Rowley Hotel? Yes, madam. May I help you? Yes. I'm calling from Westwood and Westwood Attorneys. I need to make a reservation for Mr. Alex Brent. Fine. Madam, when will Mr. Brent be arriving, and how many nights will he be staying? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are happy you have all come out for our training workshop. Today we have a great lineup of speakers to talk to you. First on our program is a well-renowned expert in the field of international economic development, Harvard's own Dr. James Smith. 
Dr. Smith has been involved in economic research for over 20 years, and has taught at Harvard since 1995. And now, without further ado, we'd like to welcome Mr. James Smith. Thank you, Mr. Jackson, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, friends. The subject of my talk is international relations in a Morgan world. I plan to say a few words about the current situation in the Middle East and how it affects world economy. I'd like to give you an overview of the way that the economies of seemingly unrelated countries are intertwined. I've divided my talk into three parts. First an overview of international relations. Second a discussion of current political situations. And lastly trends for the future. My presentation will take about two hours, but there will be a 20-minute break in the middle. We'll stop for lunch at 12. Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.